It's October, Halloween's coming right around the corner, so there's plenty of horror movies and TV shows to enjoy, especially the Smile Movies. <laughs> What's up with y'all? My name is Master Mike, and this past weekend I checked out Smile 2, and I'll be doing my thoughts in my first ever review. Smile 2 follows a new protagonist named Sky Riley, played by uh, Naomi Scott. I, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce her first name. I'm sorry, but um, but yeah, she's she's a famous pop star who, as she's you know about to uh, go on a world tour, begins experience uh, experiencing all these uh, <laughs> disturbing and terrifying events that you know ultimately forces her to uh, face her dark past in an attempt to regain control of her uh, life. Before you know, before checking out Smile 2, I recently checked out the first Smile movie. It's currently available on Paramount Plus. While I've heard of the movie and seen all of those <laughs> creepy ass posters, uh, I didn't you know bother quite bother checking out the movie, which is actually surprising because I was planning to. A few of my friends shared with me their excitement for Smile 2 and expressed how good as hell the first movie was. So after checking out the first uh, Smile movie, I honestly couldn't agree more. Uh, Smile 2 was the first horror movie I've seen in theaters since Five Nights at Freddy's and I must say it was definitely worth the experience. From the beginning towards the end of the movie, there were moments that were so disturbing and terrifying that I jump scared or turn my face away from the screen. Like, oh shit! <laughs> so I, 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 I don't think you know I ever had an experience like that for shit. Not just any horror movies, but any movies, period. And this might be my best experience yet. What I really love about Smile 2 is how Parker Thin, the creator of the uh, Smile franchise, prefers keeping the first film's uh, plot for the second film and giving it, you know, you know, fresh twists with, you know, more uh, disturbing moments, more uh, terrifying scares that I think will for sure engage the audiences from the beginning towards the end of the movie. The acting in this movie was was, was, was great, but the credit would have to go to Scott Ozzy because she was she, she was amazing. She was beautiful. She did you know very incredible job. Uh, there's you know I've seen her in uh, you know the Aladdin remake 2019 and the Power Rangers remake 2017. So I'm glad there's someone in the movie I know uh, or familiar with. I like the idea of Smile uh, franchise being um, I can't pronounce the word. But it's, 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 it means, you know, how each installment, um, <clears throat> you know, for movie franchise takes place with different characters, different sets and all that. So, and I feel like it's very common for most horror uh, movies and TV shows like Goosebumps or American Horror Story because it makes sense because, mm, spoiler alert, by the end of Smile 1 and 2, the, protect, the main character passes on a curse to another character. But, not a spoiler alert. The end of Smile 2 did something a little bit different, so it's, it's <laughs> going to be interesting to see how um, future um, Smile movies or maybe spinoffs, you know, however, um, you know, whatever Parker thing I planned uh, turns out to be. So, um, yeah, like, I, I can see Smile as one of those uh, horror franchises that continues expanding with new audiences. And um, shoot, I'm glad I checked out the first film because I, I really, I really enjoyed the first film. But the second one, so much better. I really enjoyed Smile 2 and honestly, I don't think I have any complaints about this. So I'm, you know, I'm just giving it straight up 5 to 5, honestly. You know, definitely one of the uh, best movies I've seen this year. But, you know, I won't be sharing what the others are until the next couple of videos. If you love horror movies, definitely check this out. You know, especially Halloween's coming up right around the corner. And if you love the first Smile movie, I can guarantee you'll love this movie even more. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you enjoyed my first review, please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for um, more content.